My name is Ashley. I'm from United States. It is 5.35 a.m. at the moment, and I just had what I truly believe was a rapture dream. My dream started with me being at a party with friends, and the party was soon cancelled for reasons I didn't know yet. I noticed that people all of a sudden were scattered, and I was looking for my boyfriend and I couldn't find him. I went outside which led me to the beach, and I realized how bad the weather was and a storm was headed our way. That is when someone told me the party was cancelled because of the storm. I go back inside the beach house where the party had taken place, and I find my boyfriend sitting with one of our friends. Then I hear two loud, and powerful sounds of a trumpet saying, who are atheists and I have always tried to show them the realness of God. I ran outside and fell to my knees as the dark cloudy sky lightened up and I saw from afar as some began being lifted from the ground and their bodies were like lights. I felt like I was ready to be raptured, but I was left behind. Then I heard words being spoken before waking up, and I wrote them down as accurately as I could immediately, so I would not forget. But the words were very very close to this, on earth, men who are halfway with God get morning food, noon food, and evening food. When Christ comes will they endure the consequences of their halfness with God. I believe this means that he has shown us so much mercy here on earth, and we have not suffered the consequences of being one foot in the door with our Lord and Savior, and one foot out with the world. We will feel the weight and suffer the consequences once he is here because we have procrastinated the Lord and have been halfway with God. I thought I would be saved and I was left behind. I just fell into my faith a little over a month ago, and it has been so extremely difficult to let go of certain things and certain people that are of the world. Although may not appear malicious and maybe people you love so much, they hinder you from giving your whole life to God. And we become halfway men with God. So thank you for watching this video to the end.